Hello, and welcome back to another episode of And Injustice for All MMA. My name is David, and this episode is for UFC Fight Night, Costa versus Vittori. Guys, the jinx is real. Two weeks ago, I jinxed myself. I said, listen, we might not get another injustice. And for the past two weeks, if I remember correctly, we've had, we've had a couple injustices now. We've had a couple, just one, so it's nothing serious. But we've, we're have we slowly getting back to where certain fighters are getting robbed out here. But it was just one fighter. <clears throat> and to be exact, this isn't one of those injustices that it's like really serious. Um, No, I take that back. It's serious. It's just probably not going to look as serious as the others do. Um, before we get to that injustice, though, long night of fights. Long night of fights. I, ca- I kind of like the long night of fights. It's a lot. It's a lot. But the more fights, the better. I'm fine with it. Um, but the more fights, the more chances of an injustice, which we don't want that, but we got it. Let's just start off with the first one. The first injustice and the only one of the night is Trinaldo versus Grant. Now, my scorecard reads 28-28. It's a draw. It's a draw. So now you're thinking, David, why are you giving this an injustice if it's a draw? Well, it should have been a draw. No one should have won this. No one should have won this at all. Okay. And we're going to reach all the way down. Okay. And here it goes. It's 28-28. First round is a toss-up. Now, I gave this round to Trinaldo. This round, this round was very close on the feet. But I gave it to Trinaldo based off the fact that his, he, his, his shots were a lot cleaner. The shots that he landed were much cleaner. Obviously, Grant had bigger output and landed a lot. Just not as much as Trinaldo um, in this round. And so, while it was very close, and you can argue. He, he, here's my thing. It's, I put this as a close marker. I, I put a close marker next to this round. You can give it to either person on this one. So, this is where it kind of shakes things up, really. Um, in the second round, I gave that to Grant. And in the last round, I gave to Trinaldo. But... There was a point taken away. The eye poke. And that's where you got... The, you know, you that's where the, the point deduction came in. Making it a 9-9 round. Making it 28-28 on my scorecard. Now, I was expecting to see this from the judges. In some way or the other. Turns out, the only thing consistent was that last round where they all saw it they all saw it the same way that I did on that last round now the other two ju- the other two rounds is where we get into a, a bit of a pissing match um in that second round we'll, we'll go back to the descriptions but in that second round Grant outstrikes Trinaldo it's pretty it's fairly clear he outstrikes Trinaldo again not the cleanest of shot uh, it was it was the cleanest of shots. I'm sorry about that. In that second round, it was obvious that Grant had outlounded Trinaldo. In that third round, minus the eye poke, Trinaldo got a takedown with very little ground and pound. But it was enough. It was enough to win him the round. Third round doesn't matter. That's not irrelevant at the moment. We go to we go to the judges' scorecards. Adelaide Bird gave Trinaldo the first two. Now, I told you the first round doesn't matter. It's a toss-up. You can kind of give that to anyone. The problem here is the second round. She gives Trinaldo the second round. No one on this planet should give Trinaldo the second round. Nobody. If you're watching this fight, no one should give him the second round. That's poor. That's poor from her. Bad scorecard. We go to Saul Diamato, where he gives the first round to Grant. Now, I said this round was a toss-up. I'm okay with that one. 
He gives the second round to Grant. Good scorecard. It's a 29-27. The most you can give this is a 29-27 for Grant. You then go over to Ron McCarthy, who does the exact same thing Bird does. She gives the first round to Trinaldo. Fine, I did the same thing. And he gives the second to Trinaldo as well. Bad scorecard. This should have been a tie at the very least. At the most, it's a 29-27 grant. And no one's going to care. It didn't just as no one's just going to care. Because this is the second fight in a row. And this is probably me jumping over my purview here. But the second fight in a row where it's... It's lacking in activity, so to speak. Not saying it's harder to score. I, I disagree that because it's lacking in activity, it's harder to score. I mean, for sure it is, but it it's something that you won't go to, um, you know, if there were like, if, if MMA were a mainstream thing, it's not something you would bring up at a party going, man. Uh, Grant got robbed in that fight. Like no one's gonna peek their head and go, "What, dude? We don't give a fuck." You know, it's it's not something you would bring up. But there's that. Should have been a twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Um, should have been a draw. It is what it is. We move on. We go to what is my favorite portion of the night. It's really turning into my favorite part because ever since we got past all the injustices of the previous cards I've just been having fun with the honorable mentions because I just like talking about the individual scorecards it's really fun for me um first honorable mention is Martinez versus Lavish Willie I think I said that right Lavish Willie Lazish Willie um I had a 30-27 for Martinez very easy scorecard very easy scorecard um then I read the judges' scorecards, and it's a lot of this. It's a lot of this, but some of these don't matter, but some of these do matter. Back to the judges' scorecard. Um, Adelaide Burr had 30-27, uh, Douglas Crosby had a 29-28, and Ron McCarthy had a 29-28, with um, their scorecards being a little jumbled. Um, Martinez outstruck Lavish Willie in that first round, and... Uh, Ron Ron McCarthy just gives Lavish a a, a ten eight a ten nine excuse me. Honorable mention for him. That's a that's a bad scorecard there. Um, and then Douglas Crosby gives a ten nine to Lavish Willie in the second. Um, in that second one, it's really close on the feet, but it's obvious that Martinez outstruck him enough to where he wins that round pretty convincingly. Um, also, honorable mention there for Douglas Crosby. Second honorable mention. One that should have been uni unanimous within all three judges. Um, I gave it 30-27. It, excuse me, it was Marcos versus Souza. 30-27 um, for Marcos. All 10, all 10 nines for her. It's, you know the deal. It's too easy to score, too easy to score. Okay. Start with the first judge. I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm I'm jumbled today. It's a lot of fights. It's a lot of fights. It's obviously a different night, but it's a lot of fights. Um, Eric Colon had a 30-27. Marcos. Saul Diamato had a 30-27. Marcos. Derek Clearly gives the first round to Souza. Gives the very first round to Souza. Marcos outstruck Souza on the feet. Okay, Outstruck Sosa on the feet. Now, I think maybe the reason why he gave it to her is because Sosa got a takedown in that round. Very little ground to pound and a submission attack, but it's, it was not enough. It absolutely was not enough. It does not overshadow how bad Marcos outstruck Sosa on the feet that it does not give Sosa the round at all. So I disagree with that scorecard immensely. Um... 
honorable mention there for Derek, clearly. We go on to the next one. Pickett versus Star Poli. This one's not going to matter as much. I put this in the honorable mention category, but no one is going to get a uh, an honorable mention for this. Uh, this was Pickett versus Star Poli. I had this 29-28 um, with me giving Pickett a 10-9 in the first and the second. And I gave Star Poli the last round. Um, I put a close marker on this. Uh, this You can kind of give this to either person, so at most... You can give a 30-27 for Pickett, at least a 29-28 for Sturapoli. Um, In that third round, which is very close, um, in that third round, both of them get a takedown. Sturapoli to me, uh, Sturapoli definitely, I'm not even going to say to me, outstrikes Pickett. Uh, Most of those strikes were in the clinch. Most of that round was in the clinch. Um, And the scorecards read, Something something a little a little different than what I thought it would read. Um, it reads a thirty twenty seven for um Saul Diamato. That's fine. A cr- Chris Lee. It reads a thirty twenty seven. Now before I read out this last scorecards, I what I do is I make my scorecard, and then when I record this, I then look at the judges scorecard. I was not expecting. I was expecting actually that. I just was going to pick that that uh, Derek okay Derek clearly gives out a 29-28. I was expecting him to give that 10-9 to Staropoli. Turns out he actually gave a 10-9 to Staropoli in the first instead of the third. Honorable mention to him. It's 100% obvious that Pickett wins the first round. 100%. He outstrikes him. Again, most of this is in the clinch. Most of the strikes are in the clinch for Pickett, but he wins this round walking away. It's not even it's not even close. It's not up to for debate. So honorable mention there for Derek, clearly. Next honorable mention. We're just, we're just going through these. We're going through these. Um, a fight that I thought was going to be a little more action-packed on the ground, but obviously, if you watched it, you understood why. It's Clark versus Edwards. I had this 30-27 for Clark, obviously. Um, with that first round being very close. The first one's very close, and you know why. Um, in that, fir- I'll explain. Um, in that first round, Edwards outstruck Clark on the feet. Now, Clark got two takedowns. Um, and they were enough to win her the round, which is why I had a 30-27, and she got a 10-9 in my book. But uh, while Edwards was active on the ground from her back, she outstruck Clark enough to where you can argue she won that round. So we reached for the judges' scorecards. Eric Cologne. Gives a 29-28. That's fine. Like I said, the first round, you can toss it up either way. Saw the Amato and Ron McCarthy give a 30-27 to Jessica Rose Clark. It's fine. Nothing wrong here. It's a, it's, it's a completely fine scorecard. You, you can't really argue with it. Um, next honorable mention. We go to a fight that I was definitely stunned. In. I, you know, I put this under the honorable mentions category for a reason. I was going to put this under the injustice category, but when I scored the third round, and I'll get to it, I was sitting with myself thinking, is that a 10 8? Now, here we go, because I'm, I'm, I almost spoiled it. Dawson versus Glenn. I had 29 28 Dawson. Obviously, you you can't give a round other than the last round to Glenn. 29-28 Dawson was my scorecard. With Dawson winning the first two rounds 10-9. 
you go to the judge's scorecards. Douglas Crosby reflects my scorecard. 29-28 Dawson. Chris Lee and Ron McCarthy give a 10-9 in the first and the second. And in the last round, give the give the 10-8. Now, I'm not going to pay much attention to the, oh, he stayed on the ground and that possibly could have influenced the judge. I don't, personally, I don't think that matters. Because if that mattered, then Douglas Crosby would have been like, oh, here's the 10-8. That, to me, that's irrelevant. We're just going to skip all the way to the third round. Where, in this round, Glenn is on top with ground and pound for three plus minutes. Now, that final second, final seconds, where he lands Heavier ground and pound than the round. I think if he doesn't land, land the super heavy ground and pound at the end and the submission attempt, I think you probably get the regular 10 eight, the ten nine, and we move on. It's the ground and pound at the very end and the submission attempt that just kind of borderlines the 10 eight. For me, I was not going to, I didn't give it. I put a 10-9 for him, and that was it. Two judges gave a 10-8. Now, you, you've heard me probably 10,000 times on this go, oh, unnecessary 10-8, um, unnecessary 10-8. It's an extra 10-8. You're just giving points. You're ruining scorecards. This is a borderline 10-8. It's, it's, it's arguable. You can argue this. It's enough to where I put this in the honorable mention category and no and, and no one gets an honorable mention. It's fine. If you gave a 10-8 for this, this is fine. I, I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm cool with it. I, it's great. I wasn't going to give it. And the judges reflect that. One judge gave a 10-9 for that last round to Glenn. And two judges gave a 10-8. Uh, now, personally, do I think they're right? No. But it's borderline to where I can't really argue with it. So, there's that one. Um, it's nothing you can really do there. And then we go to the final one. This one, I I, I was watching. I, this one I don't like. This is on a bunch of I definitely don't like. This is the last one. Costa versus Vittori. My scorecard reflects um, 49-45. With Vittori winning all the rounds except for the last one, obviously. If you added any different, boo. That's what I thought. Then I read the scorecards. And I got pissed. Because I was thinking to myself, how in the hell did they give a round away? When I read that scorecard and I, and I heard all three judges have it, and I was in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, 49-45. And I heard 48-46, I went, where the hell do you get the other round? That Costa wins, you don't. All three judges have it the exact same way. With remember, Costa gets deducted a point for the eye poke. And on my scorecard, it's a 10-8, technically. Instead, they give him the second round. Uh, yeah, they give him the second round. All three judges gave him the second round. They, they thought he won that round. In that round, Vittori outstrikes Costa. I don't know how you give him that round. It makes zero sense to me. Zero. Zero sense to me. Vittori outstruck Costa in that round. And they gave him the round. Honorable mention to Camillo, clearly, Diamata. I don't know how they saw it. Bad. Bad. There's no close marker on this. I didn't put anything. Bad. All right. In the end, great night of fights. Beautiful night. The only issue I really have, some of these, you know, the honorable mentions are the favorite category. Um, my opinion, it should have been a draw for the, uh, for Trinaldo versus Grant. At most, Grant wins 29-27 at most. Um, 
Good night of fights. Obviously, Vittori Costa is a uh, is um fight of the night. And that's all I got, guys. Once again, thank you for listening, and God bless.